Hello and welcome to Iridium Rock and Metal Reviews. Coming to you today from my tea break at work. It's boiling outside. I'm boiling in the car. I didn't want to turn the air conditioning up too much because it would make too much on the video. So basically, I feel like I'm going to die. So I've also having to cover up my work logo on my shirt. And now I look like I've got a bib or I look like an air hostess or something with something hanging around my neck. Absolutely ridiculous. I can't have the doors open because people will think I'm talking to myself about the music I love. So there you go. <laughs> so today we're gonna go back, and it's been a while, to the best songs of the year. So we're at 2008 and we're nearly there. So I have put a video out earlier about some updates that are coming up on the channel. And I've asked for some ideas of what I can do as far as lists are concerned, because lists are what started the channel off. It's what got the channel a bit more popular. People love the lists. So I did the best albums of the year. I went all the way through from the late 70s until obviously to 2019. And, I've, and then I do the best songs of the year and we're up to 2008. So soon I'm going to run out and I'm not going to have no lists left to do. So I've I'm trying to rack my brain of lists I can carry on with. Please let me know if you've got any good ideas so I can go back again and do the lists all the way through the years and it'll be fun again. So we've got seven to talk about. We've got some also some honourable mentions that because I can't have more than seven because we've been sitting here all day, but ones that nearly made the list. So I'll just mention the albums um, that they would have been on. So starting from number seven. So this is a newcomer to the list that wouldn't have been there unless I reacted to this band a few days ago. So, Theocracy, laying the demon to rest off of Mirror of Souls. So, I re like I said, I reacted to this band. They're a Christian metal band. I reacted to them about four days ago. Love the song. Epic, thrashy, intelligent. Um, just everything you want from like, a, I think it was about a nine minute song. It seemed like it flew by in three or four minutes. Great voice, great um, instrument. You know, all the guys in the band just smashed it. Just smashed the hell out of it. So, absolutely love that song. That's made it to my number seven. My number six, Journey, Never Walk Away, from Revelations. So, or Revelations, sorry. So, Journey came back with a new singer. Steve Perry, long gone out of the situation. Um... And Arnel Panida came in. A lot of people still not giving Journey a chance. It's not the same. You know what? I love this album. It's a proper return to form. If I had this album, the Revelation album, back in between, I don't know, after Frontiers or whatever, I would have been well happy with it. I would have been well happy with it. I think it's a great album. It's got everything you want from journey never walk away it's, it's it's a rocker though it's melodic it's catchy it's got soaring vocals brilliant guitar work from neil sean everything you want from a journey song can't go wrong with revelation the whole album never walk away is a great opening track my number five eclipse to mend a broken heart from are you ready to rock so eclipse hadn't reached their full potential for me by now i think this was their second or third album but this is where I started getting into Eclipse. They're a great band, honestly. You've got to check them out. I always talk about them on the channel. Like I said, this was this album hadn't reached exactly what they were going to be. It was the next album that did. But this was still a brilliant, brilliant album. To Mend a Broken Heart is so catchy. It's so, so catchy. And it's heavy at the same time. It's a bit rocking. Brilliant vocals. Brilliant guitar work. Seen this band live. In London, they were perfect. Number four, John, War of the Well from Lonely Are the Brave. So what an excellent singer John is. It's been a while since I've spoken to him because it's been a while since I did the lists. So, but um, War of the Well, is, I think it's the third track in. Real brilliant. The best thing I like about this is the, is the chorus. It sort of slows down from a rocking sort of chorus, from a Dio type rock. And then into a sort of like an epic sort of um, Dio again, but really slowing it down, really showing some of his Coverdale influences on here. 
John is a brilliant singer, an absolute brilliant singer. You've got to listen to him if you haven't heard him. Number three, Tesla, breaking free from Forevermore. So Forevermore, love the album. You know what, They've, they made a few attempts to come back to their sound. I think Into the Now was out before this, which was which was getting there, and then Forevermore literally smashed it out of the park. One of my favorite Tesla albums, as you'll find out, on my recent ranking the albums of Tesla. Breaking Free is like a deeper cut track that I don't think they played live. They may have done, but I might be wrong. I actually went to see them on this tour. They didn't play that track, but what a brilliant sort of brooding track in the verses, and then really kicks in heavy in the chorus. Love Forevermore, love Breaking Free, the track. Excellent. Number two. Blackstone Cherry and You from Folklore and Superstition. So they were riding high now, Blackstone Cherry, at this stage. I, I, they were really showing their southern influences. You know, this was their second album. I think this was a definitely a, a progression on the first album, much better. Um, showing different shades of them. They're, I love it when they do a southern ballad. Then there was lots to choose from in here. I think there's about three or four ballads on this album, southern ballads. Um, I mean, you had um, you had uh, things my father said on here as well. You know, I nearly chose that, but you has got such a great chorus. I absolutely love it. It just sticks in my head every time. Absolutely love it. My number one for 2008 is Avantasia, the Scarecrow from the album The Scarecrow. So if you don't know Avantasia, they're like a metal opera led by Tobias Samet, who is the Ed Guy singer, and he's basically did this project where he got people together, some excellent musicians from around the world, singers, guitarists, and they all appear on his album, some of the best musicians in the world, all like classic rock or symphonic rock, all brilliant singers and, and musicians. And he uh, basically got everyone together. On, the, on this track itself is Tobias Samet and John Londe sharing the vocals. And wow, this is this could be John Londe's one of his best vocal tracks ever. I love it when Tobias Samet starts the song off and then John comes in in those second verses and his voice is just outstanding. The, the different, different textures in both of their voices are just amazing, absolutely amazing. And what a finale, it builds up and builds up and builds up. There's a couple of brilliant versions of this online on YouTube to check out as well, and it sounds like it's up on the record. Absolutely outstanding song. That's my number one, Avantasia, The Scarecrow. Just a quick run through albums with songs that nearly made it. Iced Earth, Crucible Man. Heat, Heat, which is the debut album, self-titled. Shine Down, The Sound of Madness. Starbreaker, Love's Dying Wish. Voodoo Circle, their debut album, Voodoo Circle. Slipknot. All Hope Is Gone, and Work Of Art, Artwork. All, all albums with songs on that, you know, if I had more than seven, they would have been on the list, you know, but I just didn't want to go on too much like I always do. <laughs> right, thanks for listening. That's 2008 wrapped up. So um, next 2009, obviously. I don't know when I'm going to do that. Maybe in a couple of days. But I um, hope you enjoyed this video, getting back to the lists. Um, let me know what your favourites of 2008 were. Did I miss anything off? Do you agree with my list? Have you, some of these, have you not heard of them? And then, you know, hopefully you have a listen and let me know if you like it. But I'll see you next time. Thank you very much. I'm literally sweating. I'm going to die right now. Thank you very much. Please press the red button right hand corner.